What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Gearblocks, and today we're going to build something pretty cool in Gearblocks. We're actually going to do a kit build. So one of the coolest things about Gearblocks, in my opinion, is that it's sort of like Lego. You can actually build different kits, and if we go into the scenarios here, and we go to kit build, we can actually build some of the kits that the dev has made, and there's a whole bunch of them, which is pretty cool. So there's a bunch of really basic ones. You know, we've got a crash test dummy, the small construction like the trolley, and the robo turtle. These are all things that were in the uh, the tutorial. So I want to start with the go-kart. Now in the last video, a few people complained that I didn't actually build the F1 car that was in the thumbnail. I just used sort of a press image for the thumbnail because guys, we played the tutorial to look at all the different parts and uh, I didn't really have a good picture to put for the thumbnail. But today we're going to build the go-kart. It's going to be exciting. It's exactly what you're going to see in the thumbnail and it's going to be amazing. So I'm going to try building this, see what happens. So let's just get started. Right off the bat, we have a, uh, a steel plate. I love the way that the uh, the menu rotates too there on the right. You can see our step-by-step. -step. Look at that. It rotates with our camera. This plate is 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 5 by 15. So we have to make this. Oh, this is already 5 by 15 by default. Oh, we don't actually get the scaling tool. Oh, so it's like, it's really like Lego. They give you parts and you just have to put the parts together. That is super, super cool. Also, in the last video, I kind of talked about planes. Um, I sort of misspoke. I saw a bunch of planes on like Twitter and stuff and people were making planes. But in fact, there's a propeller part in the game and people are making planes kind of the same way we used to in Scrap Mechanic where you use a, you know, a thruster as your lift. And so they're using propellers as lift. There aren't aerodynamics yet. Don't know when that's coming, but if you check out the Gearblocks Discord, they uh, their dev is super active, really, really nice, and uh, it should be super exciting. It's really, really cool to see how uh, in tune with the community the dev is, so really exciting. But anyway, we're going to build this, so uh, obviously step one is done. Uh, step two is we have to attach those to... Oh, it just spawns the parts for us. That's cool. Okay, so I have to attach this to this right in the middle, and they have to be that kind of a connection, which they are. Yeah, no, okay, that's that's easy enough. Next, what's step three? Uh, what the heck just happened? Wait, what? Step, okay. Okay, so step, step three, I have to attach that L piece. Oh, did I not do step two correctly? Oh, hold on, hold on. Pre previous page up. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't do step two correctly. I gotta attach it. Ah, see, I gotta attach it to the... Whoops, that's got to go here. There we go. There's a way, by the way, I could have just attached all that at once. There we go. All right, step two. Is this on the wrong? It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters what ends it's on, right? Nah, there we go. Perfect. Spawn more parts. All right, step three. We've got to rotate this guy. Apparently, I can shift WASD. Oh, my good. Look at that. Look at that. You guys in the comments, amazing. Shift WASD to rotate part. Okay, so this is one block back on. Oh, my God. I'm building this whole thing. You know what? Hold on a minute. I, I made a mistake. Let me just control A that. And let me just... There we go. Okay, we're building it the same way they're building it. That'll make everything just a little bit easier. And now I gotta get this over to here. Whoops. I love that there's an undo because I'm so bad at uh, fat fingering literally everything in this game. Okay, there we go. You're gonna go over... No, can I... Excuse me. I need you to attach... God dang. Okay, hold on. I need to grab it from here. There. That, that makes life easier if you... God dang it. Hold on a minute. Can I grab it from the side? Why can I only grab this from the top? Excuse me. I want to attach the side of this. Interesting. I can't grab it from that edge. I can only grab it from the... Okay, well, no problem. We can, we can put this on first. So we can rotate this and put that... I think it's... Is it three blocks? Two blocks. Put that there, and then we rotate this, and like that, and then like that, and put that there. And now we can grab this from here. We Hold on, let's grab all this, move all this up, and then we can grab this from here. Interesting that I can't grab this from the edge. I probably can, and I just suck. So, you know, that's that's probably what's happening there. We'll grab the whole... Th Oops. There we go. And then, uh, and then I just gotta go control A. There we go. Perfect. All right, we're getting we're getting somewhere. Yeah, there's probably a way for me to grab that from the edge and attach it directly on the edge. Maybe not. Maybe I have to use this, and then I could probably like like I could delete that, and I'm, I assume that would stay attached. 
I don't know. I'm probably just an idiot. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Next step. Uh, same thing on the other side, of course. That would make sense. So let's just... I love this shift-rotate thing. That's so convenient. Shift and an arrow key. That is for 90-degree rotations. That is really, really solid. Okay. That looks good. I feel like this is the front, right? These are going to be our front wheel struts. We're going to attach some steer... Or maybe that's the back. It looks like the front. That would be like our steering column spot. I'm not sure. All right, and then we'll rotate that. This is awesome. I, I'm a big fan of Lego. It's actually, it's kind of amazing. I have uh, the Lego F1 car literally in my office staring at me right now. And I also have a Lego Lunar Lander too. I, I'm one of those like adults that has Lego as, you know, collectibles where they sit on shelves. And uh, it's, it's sort of a problem how much Lego I have. I probably should take the F1 car and make it remote controlled because it's got like the full suspension setup and everything. It's got the double wishbone and all that. And it's got, like, a whole differential in the back. It would be really cool to actually make it a remote control Lego car. But uh, the turning radius on it is pretty awful, to be honest. I think it's more meant to be a model. Anyway, uh, doing some back stuff. Wait, what? Ah, yes. Here are my parts. Let us do this and uh, attack. Excuse me. There we go. As per usual, just smash WASD until you find the right orientation. That's usually how these things go. Is that right? That looks right. And then grab this on the end here. Uh, there we go. Perfect. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting pretty good at this. We're getting somewhere. This is looking great. This is actually looking sick. Yeah, that's going to be the back for sure. That's going to be the front. I, 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 this is awesome. And this isn't even like, this is one of the easiest kits too. I can't wait to try the harder kits. Like there's that whole F1 car and I was looking at it. Like, I mean, there's kits with like 380 freaking parts. You know, I really hope that at some point in time, uh, the dev adds a way for us to make our own kits. Like, it would be really cool if I could build a, a car up, you know, build a vehicle, whatever, and then I could take it apart, and as I take it apart, it, I could make these build steps for other people. I mean, maybe there's already a way, I'm, and I'm just ignorant to it, I don't know, but it would be really cool. Like, I would love to build kits like this for people. I feel like it'd be so much more fun to download a kit from the workshop rather than download a, uh, you know, rather than download a part itself, right? Like, if you download a car, it's like, okay, cool, I can download it, play with it. But there's something rewarding about, you know, having to actually build it from the ground up yourself. I'm really, really a big fan of this. I've never found a game that has this kind of, you know, kit building level. It's really, really cool. Excuse me, that goes... Nope, nope, nope. Uh, nope, nope. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. There. You know, eventually you just get it, and it just works. All right, and then this one... Like that? That looks right. I think so. Select the whole thing. Let's move that. That looks that looks good. Cool. Next step. Uh, the same thing on the other side. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I don't know if this game has a mirror mode or not. Like if we're building our own stuff. I don't. I don't think it does. Not that it really matters because you can copy all the parts. Like I can just you know I can shift click a part. Not not in kit mode obviously, but. If we're in sandbox mode, you can just copy parts. I think it's like left alt and click to copy it. So you can always just build something and then copy it and flip it. Not really a huge deal. This is a cool looking go-kart so far. I hope it drives well. Uh, okay. And then, oh god. Oh, this is, is this my steering attachment point? What is this? Something. Okay, that's got to go underneath. Uh, let's just click this, bring this whole thing up. Where do I need to mount that underneath? Right in front of the bar. Like, there? Perfect. Is that right? It looks right. And then this has to mount right in front of that. Love it. Copy the whole thing, bring it down. This is super cool. I'm gonna, 100%, I'm gonna build my RC cars in this. So I have four RC cars, and I'm definitely gonna have to build them in this game because this kit building is exactly what it's like when you get an RC car. I mean, they're put together with, you know, various screws and that sort of thing, and, and you know, sometimes they're, well, actually, it's pretty much all screws uh, and some bolts and some ball, ball joints and stuff like that. But I have four, really. Um, three that I've really worked on and two that are kits. So I've got a Sakura D5 and a Sakura D5 Lite. Those are my two kit cars, which are built literally exactly like this. Uh, and then I've also got a WPL D12. And uh, that's originally like a, a 110 scale off-road K-truck crawler. Um, but Cosmo actually basically 
converted it for me to this crazy. Cosmo's like the RC god. Like, Cosmo just knows so much stuff about RC. Uh, and that's, of course, my buddy, in case you guys don't know. And, uh, yeah, he's just... He just helped me convert that thing over to a monster, so it's now a drift machine as well. But they're all really, really cool kits that you could build, um, you know, in uh, in this game. Like, all the parts are there. I have all the instructions for them, so it'd be really easy to sort of set them up and build them in this game. And uh, it'd be really cool to try and see if I could get some of the same dimensions. I mean, there's obviously some, some dimensions in real life that are at some weird angles that might be hard to recreate in this. But we could probably get pretty close with those kit cars and make some of my cool RC stuff in uh, in the game. But yeah, I've got a D5 Lite, I've got a Sakura D5, I've got a WPL D12, and then I've got a um, an SCX24, and uh, that's just a little rock crawler. But either way, they're all they're all really cool because they all have like proper suspension setups and that sort of thing. And now I'm monologuing again about RC stuff. This game really, it really just reminds me of RC stuff. It's unbelievable because it's all like, you know, electric motors and... And, uh, yeah, it's really, it's really quite wonderful. Which side's the opening? Is that side? That side there, okay. But yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. This is kind of the way my, uh, my D5 works. D5's got the motor in the back. It actually hangs, like, way out the back. It's sort of hilarious. On my channel, there is a video. I did do a little RC Drift compilation of my D5 just ripping around my track. Um, but it's got a new body now. It's got a super body before it had a hatchback. My D5 Lite has a Miata body, which isn't done yet, and then my WPL is a K-Truck, uh, and then my SCX is a Jeep, you know, good good times. Anyway, this is a Gearbox video, um, it's just, it, yeah, I talk too much about RC during Gearbox. It's just very much the same thing, battery, perfect, get that set up. This is so cool though, I love this kit building stuff, this is actually, it really, it feels like I'm building an RC car right now in a video game, that's what it feels like, that's why I'm, you know, I've, I've still got half my D5 Lite, like, taken apart, I had an issue with the suspension, I, in that I, I completely built it wrong, and, uh, so yeah, it's, it's like sort of half taken apart right now, and, uh, building this is very much reminding me of, of building that, I think this is right, does that goes like that? No, that's interfering. Is it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. This is cool. This is a very different steering setup than I would have expected. I like these parts, though. There's literally parts built for steering. Yeah, I need to put a swivel joint on this. That's right. Swivel joint on that one. And look at this one. Swivel joint there as well. And that's it. And then I got to put these guys in here. These are going to be fixed axles. And just, I guess I can just rotate this. Doesn't really matter. All right, perfect. Perfect. And then our wheels are going to rotate about that, which is interesting. I mean, in real life, if we were doing this, there'd be a little bearing in here, and then there'd be a cap on the other end, like the axle would only push through from the one side, and then we'd have a little bearing in here to allow the axle to free spin, and then the wheel would be hard mounted to the axle, and then that way the axle and the wheel sort of hold it across, and it spins freely about this point. But I mean, this works too, same deal, but we could do it this way as well, right? And uh, not allow translation, but we could do it like that. And that would be the equivalent of how I would do it in real life. And then hard fix the wheel. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're building the kit the way the kit's intended. Awesome. Get our steering rack going. This is kind of cool. Uh, hold on a minute. Let's grab it from one of these sides. Whoops. There we go. Grab it from there. The one thing I will say, though, about the RC stuff compared to this is uh, we don't have steering racks in RC, really. We use a servo... I mean, we kind of have a steering rack, but it's not like with gears and a, a gear tooth on the servo. The servo is like a push arm, and it pushes back and forth, which, you know, causes your wheels to go back and forth. Pretty good stuff. Uh, so this has to be a swivel. That has to be a swivel. That has to get deleted. There we go. And that has to get deleted. All right. Perfect. I like the fact that you can just delete connections between blocks and have them slide even if they're touching. That's going to be super convenient when we're making really compact things. Uh, later on. Anyway, 15. We gotta hook... Oh, we gotta hook the battery up. Okay. Wait, what? I don't have a... Oh, I need to attach the servo motor first and then hook the battery up. Gotcha. Just attaching it right to the front of... Wait, what? Oh, no, it's sitting on top of that. Oh, that makes sense. Then we're just gonna put an axle out there to a little gear and... Okay, uh, perfect. And then we'll attach this to this. Like so. What? What? Was I supposed to attach this motor? 
I don't know. I'm gonna go check real quick. Was I supposed? Oh, I was supposed to attach the motor. See, you know, I got monologuing and then I forgot about stuff, and now here we are. Is that connection right? That connection is right. Like those gears are meshed. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to new steps. 15. There's 16. Okay, we got to put an axle, a gear. Yeah, got it. No problem. Get you shoved in there. Done. Gear on here. Whoops. Rotate, rotate. Done. Nice. That's a rotation joint. That's a fixed joint. Perfect. Okay, now we're doing all the detailing. This is really, really cool. I, I'm a big fan of this. Okay, hold on a minute. And there we go, like that. And then I can grab this and grab the whole thing. That looks nice. That looks... Is it, is it supposed to have that little gap? Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, okay, it's got that little gap too. I think we're good. Everything looks all right. Next step, probably mount the seat, of course. Does it even matter where I put the seat? Like how... You went up one more, you went there. Right? Four between the seat and the back. One, two, three, four, yep. Okay, perfect. I love the fact that this has the grid built into it. Really, really, it's, it's just really smart. This whole system is really cool. That's why I really hope we can build our own kits. And uh, we don't even have a steering wheel. Wait a minute. Oh, I gotta customize controls. Uh, whoops. I didn't. Uh, I didn't complete that step. There we go. Now I got my wheels. All right. Go kart wheel. Go kart. We're gonna take this to the track too, 100%, and see what we can do. This is awesome. All right, and done. My axle's supposed to stick through like that. Uh, no, I think this is supposed to be out there. Yeah, that looks better. I don't think I can, uh, yeah, no, I don't have the, it's supposed to be left shift E to activate the part properties, but I don't have that in this menu, but, uh, okay, well, we built the go-kart as intended, and I think I can just unfreeze this and hop, oh, God, my feet are inside the steering rack. That is probably not, not good, but hey, it works. Oh, no, it doesn't. I lied. We have no drive. Okay, hold on a minute. I made... Mistakes were made here. Okay, well, this is this is interesting. Now we're into the debugging phase. The steering was working, right? This was on. Steering's working. Oh, my God. Did I not... Whoops. I didn't, I didn't allow my axle to rotate inside my... Yeah, you see, you know, there's probably a step here that talks about that. There's probably... There's pro yeah, like, probably, like, that step. Yeah, that, that step. Yeah, that's probably... That's probably a good thing to have you know your axle kind of needs to rotate oh look at that does this work now oh my god I, there's still mistakes have been wait what am i hold on a minute it like wants to what a hmm oh yeah remember when i was all like hey man the front wheels should rotate here and not there yeah i gotta set the front wheels to rotate there because you know i really need to actually pay attention to the instructions there we go now we oh now we're cruising Oh my god, the uh, the front grip when you're pushing forward is very much lacking. It's a nice go-kart though. Alright, save construction. As uh, I'm just going to call this kit dash go-kart. Perfect. Default go-kart kit. Boom. Save. Alright, let's go load up a scenario now. Kit go-kart. Let's go. Load this thing up. All right. This is this is looking good. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I have a feeling where I don't know where the track goes. We're just you know we're just gonna start. Do I have to? If I go past it, oh it does record lap times. Okay, okay. Let's see what we can do in a lap time. Here we go. Let's just we gotta get a little bit of a run up at it. Okay, this thing is incredibly slow. It does have a return to center on the steering though. Oh my god, this is the world's, literally the world's slowest go-kart. We're in a scenario now, though, so I should be able to actually modify the parameters a little bit of this thing. It, can I, can I, I might have to hook up my controller for this, too. Once we get into some proper race vehicles, I think I'm probably gonna need my controller and not mouse and keyboard to steer. It's smooth. It's a nice go-kart. This isn't really a go-kart-sized track, though. 
This is sort of a much larger than a go-kart track. Oh, look at this. We got a little chicane to break up the straight. That's cool. That's cool. I'm taking that way too wide. Don't worry, we're gonna- I'm gonna adjust this. This- this cart needs just a little bit of a motor adjustment. We could also swap the gear ratio on the back axle, put the small gear on the axle and the large gear on the motor, and, you know, it'll just be kind of hilarious. So we'll try that, too. First, we'll crank up the motor speed. This lap is gonna be kind of pathetic. But it's pretty smooth. I really do like the driving in this game. I can already tell, like, once we start getting into some advanced suspension setups with, you know, double wishbone, that sort of thing, and adjusting our dampers and things, then, uh, you know, we're gonna be able to make really, really stable race cars. And, of course, uh, once aerodynamics gets added, if we can do some downforce things, that's gonna be even crazier. Although, I'm pretty sure we can use a propeller and do downforce with a propeller, which there was an F1 car a long time ago that had, like, a fan on the back, and it sucked air from the underside of the car to give it more downforce. And, oh my god, I didn't, didn't, okay, okay, well, okay. Yikes. Yikes, that was, that was unfortunate. Time's still rolling. Alright, we got a nice little pit lane. And that was the slowest lap I possibly could have done. Oh my god, it's gonna take so long to get there. Getting it to go perfectly centered is a little difficult. You can see, like, the steering, we can't... I need a joystick for sure. I need to, I need to use my joystick for this. Alright, let's do some changes to this car real quick. Let's just see what, you know, direct comparison what we can do. Uh, first thing, let's just take a look at this. This motor. What can I, what can I do with this motor? Whoops. Hello. There we go. Uh, okay. Input smoothing. Yeah, max RPM. Okay, it is at max RPM. Already. It's at 2000 RPM. Okay, so peak torque. Peak braking torque. Let's just crank both those up. And then let's just grab this gear and grab this gear and put that gear there and put that gear there that's that's always a stupid idea right i mean there's a reason that you want a gear reduction coming off the motor but we're going to increase it instead and uh i'm going to adjust this steering motor a little bit input smoothing what if i turn that to like almost nothing maybe the input smoothing is why we can't get you know perfectly straight down the middle we could drop the rpm a little bit too max angle 120 Okay, I don't know how much that's going to matter. Oh, right, we should unfreeze. Let's see here. Unfreeze, okay. Yeah, max angle 120 seems alright. See, without input smoothing, yeah, that's a lot better. It's more responsive to, like, the individual movements. The input smoothing kind of makes it, you know, well, a smoother input. Which would help if you're, you know, using a keyboard. Alright. Do we even have... Oh, yeah, it, it can push itself. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, this is... <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a go-kart. This thing's gonna fly now. Okay. Let's maybe not go in reverse. Here we go. Let's get... Yeah, it cannot turn. It needs more weight in the front. Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier to stay straight, though. Okay, here we go. We are... We are going quick. I need a speedometer. Oh my god, it's like a jet engine. Oh, and brakes don't work! Brakes don't work! Let's try that again, and this time, I'm not gonna suck. I'm gonna remember to brake early. This go-kart doesn't really have braking power. Which kind of makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna start braking now. Yeah, just, just really, really just hammer the brake. Okay, that's not, it's not, it's not great. It's not, it's not great. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on, we can do better than this. I gotta break way earlier than that. All right, here we go, hot lap, boom. Break, 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 break. Oh my God, it, it still cannot break. It cannot break, there we go. Nice turn. Oh, it's just, it's just understeering like crazy. It just cannot turn. There we go. Yeah, needs a lot more weight in the front. Needs suspension, too. That would help a lot with the understeering problem. It's actually not bad. It feels more like a race car at this kind of speed, because you have to actually sort of pick your line a little bit, but it's still pretty rough. Okay, a little bit of a bounce there. Definitely needs definitely needs some suspension. We're just gonna we're just gonna go off-road a little. Oh god, that was terrible. 
hear the motor squeal as soon as the wheels aren't on the ground. It's fine. It's fine. Turn, turn, hard, hard. There we go. Okay. More brake. Yeah, this is this is bad. It wasn't, you know what? It wasn't the worst. We're going to try one more lap because I'm going to have some speed now. Set a lap. We'll see if we can beat it. I think you could probably do a sub one. Uh, maybe you can't do a sub one minute. You'd have to be so fast. All right. Oh, this is not going to work. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, nope. Yeah, nope. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think that was going to work. Well, we're obviously not going to beat the lap time now, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm definitely going to try building some of the more complicated kits, especially like that F1 sports car, and uh, there's some dune buggies and things like that. Things with suspension setups, that sort of thing, would be pretty cool. And then, of course, we're going to start building our own cars because, uh, yeah, I got a lot of ideas, and uh, we can definitely make transmissions and that sort of thing, and gearing systems, and, you know, we could make a two-shifter cart, which would be cool. A cart that has, you know, two gears. There's, like, the high-speed shifter carts, where usually they have a first and a second gear and it'd be really cool to try and make one of those and uh you know drive it around the track something where you can downshift get into a lower gear take the corners with some you know control and then go into a higher gear on the straights but uh let me know what you guys think in the comments down below make sure of course hit that like button hit that subscribe button really really cool game obviously this is just the most basic build ever but it's uh it's pretty cool to start building something from start to finish and really get it going and uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna set another lap here we're not gonna crash it's all about this first corner if you can survive the first corner you're good we gotta just cut wide while breaking while breaking while breaking while breaking while breaking while breaking while 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 god dang it yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm, I'm gonna build something better than this i think we need suspension if we had suspension, you know, it could lean in to the corners and it would be just a lot easier and like, like not, you know, not active suspension that's leaning, but just the fact that your load will transfer a little bit. I feel like suspension setups will help us a lot in making this a whole lot better. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep setting laps. This is really, really cool. I like this game a lot and uh, I can't wait to build a much better vehicle that's got a much better drive setup with, uh, yeah, with all sorts of proper gears and clutches and things like that. So let me know what you guys think. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.